So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Wednesday, so it's time for another Power BI tip and trick. And in today's video, we're going to talk about regex. So this is something that you suggested. In this case, it's Jonathan. And he says, I would appreciate if you could do a video on regular expression problems. And he has a case that he would like to um, filter for the format 99 and then any number and then 99. So that's basically what we're going to do today. How about that? Now, um, Power BI does not support regular expressions. First of all, regular expression is basically a, a way to find patterns on text or numbers. Okay, so you can find any type of patterns. In this case, he has the case for 99xx99. So I'm going to show you. You'll see. So Power BI does not support regex, and at least not for now. Uh, Power Query does not do it, DAX does not do it. So with Power Query, you can do a lot of things with the user interface. You can do a lot more with M. But if you are familiar with regex, I understand that it's easy for you just to, you know, be able to click. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do R. Now, you can do this in R, you can do this in Python, you can do this uh, basically in those two. I'm going to show you R because I prefer R, basically, but you can do the same with Python. And uh, there are a lot of libraries that help you do this. I think that this stringer is actually the one I found easier, and I'm going to give you a pattern so you can just fill in your regex and hopefully it will work. So I'm going to give you two, three resources. This is a little tutorial on stringer, this is also a tutorial on strings for R, so you can go and read it. And this is a tool that allows you to create regex. I am not a regex super user, but I can build my patterns using this tool. I think it's absolutely great. And even if I know very little about regex, it just it really works. It helps fix it. So this is what we're going to do. Um, the pattern that uh, Jonathan wants to um, build for a regex solution is 99xx99. So how do we do this here? So here you have a quick reference first of like a common regex functions. I use it a lot. This is the only thing that helps me, apart from Google, obviously. So what you start to do is you know that for Jonathan, he wanted to have 99 as the first two digits. So that you hard code like that. So you start writing your regular expression here, and then here you have a possibility to list strings and see if they match or not. So I'm going to, if I write here 99, you'll see that yes, this regular expression would match for that. If I write 99.3, still match. Because we haven't told, we, what this 99 says is start with 99. And as you can see, when you start adding numbers, you still get a match. Now, if I write 98, you see that this does not match because the two numbers are not 99. But if I put obviously a 99 in there, you will have a full match again. So we'll have the first two. Works beautifully. Now, the next one is find a digit. And here you have it. A digit is backslash D backslash d. So that will find, it will make sure that the next number is a digit. And as you can see, the first one doesn't match because it doesn't have a digit on the third position, but the other ones does. And if I put 99a, it won't match either. So yes. Now what happens if I put another digit? It still matches, right? Because we haven't told them how many digits we want to have. And to do that, you do the curly brackets and a two. And now suddenly you see these ones matches, this one does not match. What happens if I put another nine in there? Still matches, right? Now if I would put an A there, it still matches because we haven't said what has to happen afterwards. We just said that it has to start with 99 and then it has to have two digits, which it does. The other ones do not work. And now I wanted to end up with 99. So I put 99 again. And this one should match. Why doesn't it 
do it. Thirty-five. Backslash two. Ninety-nine. Exactly. So this one matches. Oh. I know it didn't match. So if I put just one nine, obviously it won't match because it, I said 99, the two nines. If I remove one nine, we will get a match. So 99, it matches. And now if I put again 99 there and 99 there, we get a full match. Now, but he wanted to say specifically 99xx99. And uh, if I put another digit here, or a letter, you see that it's still a full match because now we have to close this. We said, okay, don't look for more. This is it. I want 99 to digits 99. So how do we close that? And here we find end of string. So I just go, I just test, you know, and then start to test again. Does it work? This is a match. This is not a match. So now anything I put after that, it won't correct. So this is the pattern that I need for, you know, what Jonathan wanted to do. Hopefully it was useful. But this tool is really, really good. And you're going to get, obviously, the link down below, so don't worry about that. But it's Regex 101. They did a wonderful, wonderful job with this. Okay, so let's go to Power BI. And what we have here is some fake data. I have a table that has a zip code and has a name. And what we want to do is for the zip code to get a match on the zip codes that follow the structure that we just created, basically. So what we need to do is use R as we explained. First of all, you need to go to R Studio and make sure you have installed the library string girl. I'll show you how to do it. You have to install R Studio. I have a video on how to get started with R in case you haven't at all. So start there and then come back here. And then tools, install packages, is string girl. So it's a string and then R. And then you click install and it will install. I've already have it, so I don't probably won't do anything else. And once you have done that, you don't need to worry anymore. We go to our script. And here we're going to create our script. So uh, this is, I have my cheat sheet in front of me. So first we call in the library. We said use this library. And now we're going to create a variable. Uh, that where we specify the pattern and the pattern that we want had was in there. Now I'm going to show you something. If you go back in here, here we said what type of regex for which language were we writing regex. And here we have uh, I have no PHP, JavaScript, Python, and Golang. But there's no R, and R has a little bit. The, the syntax is a little bit different. I don't know if there's in a tool that does this for R. If there is, let me know down below so everybody knows too. But I just happen to know that for R, because I check it on Google, you need to have two backslash instead of one. So what's going on? So that's how we need to write our pattern, okay? Then we go to the next one. Uh, we're going to create a variable called clean regex. And we're going to use clean extract. And there we're going to use our column uh, zip code and clean it with the variable that we have up there, which is our pattern. So to get the column, uh, zip code, and clean it with the pattern, or extract the pattern as above. And then we're going to have an output. Uh, 
uh, regex and the output is going to be the data set and the we're going to add a new column called i don't know call it whatever you want regex you can change it and then here we're going to put the output of our variable up there that cleaned extracted according to our specifications okay so th this is basically what's happening nothing else fingers crossed that the syntax is okay And it's not. Okay, uh, I misspell extract. Extract. This is how I code like that. Yay! Okay, so now you see that this didn't fit, this didn't fit, this fit, and that's extracted in a column called regex. You can call it whatever you want and that one also so now if you want to reuse this just put whatever pattern you want make sure that you refer to the column that you want to clean give it the name that you want and then you are good to go you can start using regex and uh, this should i haven't tested actually but it should refresh in the source, in Power BI service. Should we check it? Apply changes. Because you know, you nowadays you can actually refresh R. But let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. <laughs> let's see if it works or not. Sure. Save it. And it's working. So let's put it on my workspace. That's fine. It's publishing in there, it'll take just a few seconds. It's just a, such a small uh, Power BI file. Open regex. Come on, baby. It's opening. And this is going to be blank because I haven't done any. I haven't done any visualization, but somewhere in here, should we have regex in Power BI? Let's try to refresh, schedule refresh this and see. Hmm. So this is running edit credentials. Schedule refresh. And we're good to go. Yay. Okay. So I hope this was useful. The file is available for download on kerbal.com uh, download center community downloads and it's going to be download i think number 51 it will say it on the title and on the link so just go and grab it and do all the regets that your heart desires so with that said i'll see you on the next video which i think is going to be a dark friday's video so i'll see you on friday until then take care and bye bye